Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the United States Naval Memorial. What a truly fitting place to welcome our Navy's newest and finest Chief Petty Officers. As they join a rich 120-year legacy, the Chief Petty Officer Penning Ceremony is a public recognition of the most significant career milestone for our Navy enlisted ranks, and we are grateful. We're grateful for you to be here and to share it with us today, to share our FY22 Pentagon Area Pen Chief Petty Officer Select D. Penning. I'm Master Chief Ponder, your guest of ceremonies, your master of ceremonies. Guests are asked to please silence all their cell phones and or turn them off. This will be a covered event for all military guests. Will the guests please rise for the arrival of the official party, CPO selectees, presentation of colors, and the invocation. Chief Selectees, Coach. Advance the colors.
Ready? Two. Retire the colors. Chairman Van Dyke will now offer the invocation. If you care to join me as I pray, I invite you to bow your head with me. Eternal Father, giver of every good gift, we give you thanks for the privilege of witnessing this milestone event in the lives of these sailors as today they enter into the ranks of the Chief Petty Officer. We thank you for the gift that a Navy chief can be, one who is able to stand in the gap between officers and enlisted, one who is able to serve both as supervisor and advocate for their sailors. And the location of our ceremony is not lost on us today, Lord. In this place that not only celebrates the rich heritage of the United States Navy, but also memorializes the sacrificial service of so many who have gone before, it serves as a fitting reminder that these new chief petty officers did not get here by themselves, and that they now stand on the shoulders of all those who have gone before, bearing that fouled anchor on their shoulders as well. But I thank you for the countless ways that you've blessed these men and women to bring them to this point. Thank you for all of the family and friends and mentors who have encouraged them to this point. Thank you for the protection you have given them over the years, either from others or perhaps even from themselves and their own mistakes. Help them to remember your goodness now as they assume this new role and new status. Keep them humble about themselves, even as they bear great pride in this new rank. And bless them in the days to come. Now would you grant us all, gracious God, the strength to continue to serve together with honor courage and commitment for the good of our shipmates and their families and for the sure defense of our nation and may all glory and honor and praise be to your great name now and forevermore amen thank you chairman van dyke Chief Selectee, at ease. Guests, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, it is, it is an honor and a privilege for me to introduce our guest speaker for today's ceremony. Please welcome Command Master Chief Mike Carbone, OPNAV Command Master Chief. Distinguished guests, families, and friends, welcome to the fiscal year 22 Chief Petty Officer Frocking Ceremony. Today is a very special day where 20 of the Navy, Navy's finest first class petty officers will assume the title as a Chief Petty Officer in the United States Navy. To all the loved ones and family members here today, for those who could not be here, and for those looking down from heaven, I wish to say thank you for your continuous love and support in raising, encouraging, building, and standing by these fine men and women as they have developed through their lives into the leaders they are today. None of them have walked this journey alone. Thank you for the advice you gave them during hard times, your patience, and your unwavering support. Specifically, for all of the spouses, children, and supporting family members. I wish to say thank you for your service because you serve our country faithfully and honorably every day. You shoulder a weight that most do not endure. You are truly special. You may have noticed today that each sailor selected a chief petty officer 
has in their possession a wooden vessel. Inside each vessel contains a book of charges. Charges because they are entrusted with a task or duty. Each chief petty officer in the command has a page in each book to share with the selectee as they transition through their initiation process. These pages contain leadership advice, guidance, words of wisdom, things for the, that worked for them, things that didn't, and typically a warm welcome to the mess. Most of the time, these charges are direct, straightforward, and focused on the individual selectee. For the last six weeks, they have received much advice, lots of guidance, tons of wisdom, and today here shortly, they will receive their warm welcome on this very cold day. To the CPO selectees who are eagerly standing by, who will soon be frocked or promoted to chief petty officer, here is your final charge before your anchors are pinned, your cover is donned, and you assume our title. In a few moments, you will present your charge book to the Vice Director of Navy Staff, Rear Admiral Jackie McClellan, to symbolize its historic and traditional origins. You will one by one walk forward and state, I have met all qualifications and am now ready to become a Chief Petty Officer. At that moment, with special trust in you, she will give the order to make it so. Make it so. In those three words, your life will change. With it will come an enormous obligation and responsibility to our nation. It will demand that in all your decisions and undertakings that you be morally and ethically minded. Because in your newly trusted position, your acts and how you choose to lead will have a significant outcome on the mission, lives, the command, and sailors, either positive or negative. Make it so. With it comes a loyalty to, the, loyalty to the officers appointed over you who give you your authority. Your actions, not your anchors, will define you in their eyes. Make it so. With it comes families from all over our country, from the Midwest to the coasts, from the South to the North, that will place their trust in your hands with their most cherished possession to lead, guide, and train their loved one while deployed in combat or in everyday tasking. You are now more than ever before accountable to and for your sailors. You must be dedicated to them. You must be fully, and I mean fully, committed to their excellence, readiness, and standards. Your actions, not your anchors, will define you in their eyes. Make it so. With it will come new pressure and stress. You must learn to manage it and harness it to be a good leader and to be your best self. Your family and friends are your foundation. Communicating your challenges with family and close friends will allow for support and for understanding. Remember, you cannot be the person you are or will have to be without them. Make it so. With it will come a fraternity, a community of loyal comrades that have your back, chiefs that will earn your trust that you can rely on, men and women who are leaders, who are patriots, that are dedicated and committed to serving their sailors, the Navy, and most importantly, our nation. Make it so. With it will come a pride and confidence that you cannot express, impossible challenges that you will overcome, and a renewed spirit in your ability to lead, as long as you are coachable, willing to listen, and that you consistently look inward, making sure that you are always honorable and have integrity. The courage to do what's right, even when it's hard, and have a strong sense of duty. Remember that the reputation of the chief petty officer is inherited. It is inherited from the chiefs of the past. You must uphold and earn this title every day. We are all so very proud of you, and we welcome you to our ranks. Thank you. Thank you, Master Chief Carbone. One of the most distinctive trademarks of the American Blue Jacket Sailor is the white hat. 
which symbolizes a long and proud tradition of the Navy's core values of honor, courage, and commitment. However, these sailors assembled here today no longer wear that hat. Instead, as these sailors join the ranks of Chief Petty Officers, they will don a new cover, a symbol of their position and responsibility, representing an equally long and proud tradition of service. It is tradition that the, that the sponsor of the new Chief Petty Officer presents the new cover to the Chief. I will now read the frocking letter. Attention to frocking. Authority to assume the title and wear the uniform of Chief Petty Officer. Per the Military Personnel Manual Section 1420-TAC-060, you are authorized to assume the title and wear the uniform of a Chief Petty Officer, effective immediately. Your appointment carries with it the obligation that you exercise increased authority and willingly accept greater responsibility. Occupying now a position of greater authority, you must strive with a new, renewed dedication toward the value ideal of service with honor. At this time, the selects will report to Vice Director, Naval Staff, and be pinned by their family and friends and covered by their sponsor. Chief Select Kenneth Trailer, report. Chief Select Jeremy Pollock, report. Chief Select Alfbar, report. Chief Select Trailer will be pinned by his family, Kelly Trailer, and be covered by his sponsor. Jeremy Pollock will be pinned by Michael Pollock and covered by his sponsor. Chief Select Ryan Smith, report. Chief Select Alpha Bar will be pinned by Alana Andoli, and covered by his sponsor. Chief Select Ryan Smith will be pinned by Michael Smith and King Smith and covered by his sponsor.
Chief! Left! Bank! Halt! Chief Select Denver, Sizemore. Report! Chief Select Elbridge Castain, report. Chief Select Sizemore will be pinned by CW3 Denver Sizemore Jr., U.S. Army retired, and Lieutenant Commander Sizemore and covered by his sponsor. Chief Select Robert Bobo, report. Chief Select Rodney Fabio, report. Chief Select Bobo will be pinned by Robert Bobo Jr. and Socoria Bobo and covered by his sponsor. Chief Select Fabio will be pinned by Alex Lewitt and Ashley Fabio and covered by his sponsor. Chief, left, bank, halt. Chief Select Zachary Alexander, report. Chief Select Carlos Vasquez. Report. Chief Select Alexander will be pinned by James Maccabee and Kyle Stedman and covered by a sponsor. Chief Select Vasquez will be pinned by Fernando Cezo and Melissa Vasquez and pinned by his sponsor. Chief Select Jeremy Anderson. Report. Chief Select Wayne Smith, report. Chief Select Jeremy Anderson will be pinned by Michael Edwards and YNC Jane Fitzwater and covered by a sponsor. Chief Wayne Smith will be pinned by Norma Normalda Divin and Davish, Davish Smith and covered by his sponsor.
Chief. Left face. Pose. Chief Select Sarah Davison. Report. Chief Select Morris Maurice Wolf. Report. Chief Select Sarah Davis. Davison will be pinned by ISC Manley Davison, U.S. Navy retired, and Tanner Golden, and covered by her sponsor. Chief Select Hamilton, report. Chief Select Maurice Wolf will be pinned by Monique Butler Wolf and Tyrone Ferguson and be covered by his sponsor. Chief Select Johnny English, report. Chief Select Hamilton will be pinned by Christopher Richardson and Chief April Slaughter and covered by his sponsor. Chief Select Johnny English will be pinned by Bonnie English and YNC Juan McCants, U.S. Navy retired and covered by the sponsor. Chief Select Mickey Romack, report. Chief Select Patrick, so Patrick Moore, report. Chief Select Mickey Romack will be pinned by Brendan Stump and Bowden Romack and covered by her sponsor. Chief Select Jalise Corrington, report. Chief Select Patrick Moore will be pinned by ABF1 Roosevelt Butler, U.S. Navy retired, and YNC Cam Ash and covered by his sponsor. Chief Select Candy Roberts, report. Chief Select Jalise Corrington will be pinned by Anastasia and Jayla Allen and pinned by her sponsor. Chief Select Candy Roberts will be pinned by Trayana Hart and Dorothy Roberts and covered by her sponsor.
Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you our FY22 Chief Petty Officers. Would a guest please be seated? Chief Tish Randall will now read the Chief's Foul Anchor. The Foul Anchor is the emblem of the rate of Chief Petty Officer of the United States Navy. Attached to the anchor is a length of chain and the letters U-S-N. To the novice, the anchor, chain, and letters only identify a Chief Petty Officer of the United States Navy. But to a chief, these have a more noble and glorious meaning. The U stands for unity, which reminds us of cooperation, maintaining harmony, and continuity of purpose and action. The S stands for service, which reminds us of service to our God, our fellow man, and our Navy. The N stands for navigation, which reminds us to keep ourselves on a true course so that we may walk upright before God and man in our transactions with all mankind, but especially with our fellow chiefs. The chain is symbolic of flexibility and reminds us of the chain of life that we forge day by day, link by link, and may it be forged with honor, morality, and virtue. The anchor is emblematic of the hope and glory of the fulfillment of all God's promises to our souls. The golden or precious anchor by which we must be kept steadfast in faith and encouraged to abide in our proper station amidst the storm of temptation, affliction, and persecution. Thank you, Chief Randall. I will now read the Chief Petty Officer Creed. All Chief Petty Officers, active, retired, and honorary. Attention to the Queen. During the course of initiation, you have been caused to humbly accept the challenge and face adversity. You have accomplished with rare good grace, pointless as some of these challenges may have seemed, there were valid time-honored reasons behind each pointed barb. Your faith in the, fellow, in the fellowship of chief petty officers was necessary to overcome these hurdles. The goal was to instill in you that trust is inherent with the donning of the uniform of a chief. Our intent was to impress upon you that challenge is good, a great and necessary reality which cannot mar you, which in fact strengthens you. In your future, as a chief petty officer, you will be forced to endure adversity far beyond which has thus far been imposed upon you. You must face each challenge and adversity with the same dignity and good grace you have already demonstrated by experience, by performance, and by testing, you have been advanced to chief petty officer in the United States and only in the United States Navy. The rank of E-7 carries with it a unique responsibility and privileges you are expected to fulfill and bond to observe. Your entire way of life is changed 
More will be expected of you. More will be demanded of you. Not because you are an E7, but because you are now a chief petty officer. You have not merely been promoted a pay grade. You have been joined an exclusive fellowship. And as in all fellowships, you have a special responsibility to your comrades, even as they have a special responsibility to you. This is why in the United States Navy may maintain with pride our feelings of accomplishment once we have attained the position of Chief Petty Officer. Your responsibility and privileges do not come in print. They have no official standing. They cannot be referred to by name, number, nor file. They have been exalted for over 100 years. Because chiefs before you have freely accepted responsibility beyond the call printed assignment. Their actions and their, and their performance demanded a respect of their seniors as well as their juniors. It's required that you be a foundation of wisdom, an ambassador of goodwill, the authority and personnel relations as well, as well as a technical expert, expert and application. Ask the chief is a household phrase in and out of the Navy. You are the chief. The exalted position you have achieved and the word exalted is used advisedly exists because of the service, character, and performance of the chiefs before you. It shall exist long, only as long, as you are and your fellow chiefs maintain these standards. It was our intention that you never forget this day. It was our intention that you be tested, try you, and to accept you. Your performance has assured us that you will wear the hat with the same pride as your comrades before you. We take a deep and sincere pleasure and clasping our hands and accepting you as a Chief Petty Officer in the United States Navy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the benediction, followed by Anchors Away. And now, Eternal Father, strong to save, would you be pleased to bind the restless waves with your mighty right hand, go before us and be our guide, come behind us and be our guard, and show yourself to be a shield to all who trust in you. Bless us and these new chief petty officers as we go from this place today. Send us on with your mercy and your peace, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Van Dyke. This concludes today's ceremony. You are invited to join the Chief's Mess inside the Navy Memorial to congratulate the newly, the newly Chief Petty Officers.
gentlemen, that concludes our ceremony. We'll now be.